Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you won't hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we have rallied in the cryptocurrency market fairly, uh, fairly today. Uh, Bitcoin did not do as well as, for example, Dogecoin, but it did rally roughly 4 or 5% to the upside. So we did not test the middle of the bullish path. We did not test the 20 exponential. We did not test the 200 moving average. All of them will most likely offer a massive resistance. So we may see this a continued rally up towards this point. And if we get rejected there, then we could drop back to 30,000. 30,000, if that breaks, then we're looking at a drop of roughly towards 20,000, which probably should be the uh, as far as this will go, at least in the medium term. If you look at Fibonacci retracements for this, then we can see that this could rally up towards, give or take, uh, 43,000 before breaking down. That's around this area. 15 million average will go travel this way. We could also up towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement that is at 47,000. Um, and that should be massive resistant for this market. You can see that technical indicators are all turning around. So there is going to be, or most likely is going to be, a rally to the upside. Usually, if you look at historical patterns, it drops significantly and then it rallies to around the half that's roughly where the 50 around the where the top of the bullish bandage or the 50 moving average is and then it drops um, continues to drop if it's going to continue to drop so at the moment um it doesn't look very good even though technical indicators are all turning around at this current stage so let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has rallied towards the middle of the bullish band. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for Ethereum. We can see that we are we have just pulled back from the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement. So this should be this area here should be um, very resistant. We have the 20, the middle of the bullish band, and the 50 and the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement. So it's not strange that we pull back here or stop here. But we could also rally further to the 50 or the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly 3,000. That's probably where this will drop towards the downside. Break above the 3,000 level, then we could see this go back towards the all-time highs. Technical indicators, they are favoring the upside at the moment. We have the MACD crossing. All the other indicators are becoming bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. Sorry. Yes, so Cardano has broken above the uh, the middle of the bullish band, which is a fairly uh, a fairly uh, bullish shine, but it has not taken out these previous signs here. So it's going to be interesting to basically see what happens when we get to this point. We can see that we rallied here and then we broke down. So yes, we need to go and take out these previous highs before going higher. If we break down from here, then we could drop all the way back towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly at 1.1%. A dollar at this current stage. Technical indicators do favor the upside because they're all bullish at this point. If you look at Fibonacci retracement, we can see that we have passed the 50 and could be heading towards the 61.8, which is also the previous highs there. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, not a lot of movement here. Um, actually, very boring. So we have not seen the same move here as we have seen for other cryptocurrency. We're trading at 184 at this point, and we were all the way up toward 410 uh, when this basically broke down. So not seeing the massive rally, but uh, 20 exponential at $200, give or take, should be uh, resistant, and the 50 moving average here at 255. Technical indicators are turning around, and um, it looks like the market was... Uh, very specifically targeting uh, specific stocks today and also specific cryptocurrencies because some of them were doing far better, for example, than Litecoin is doing at this point. If we break below the 200 moving average, we could drop all the way down to 116 or 100 if uh, if this breaks down. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, has not taken out these previous highs here, and uh, this could get rejected here and fall back towards the 200 moving average at the $43. 
Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. So break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for this. And we will see that uh, uh, 38.2 is right here at 75. And the 50 Fibonacci retracement is just around the 50 moving average. So this should be massive resistant if we get up towards this point. So let's look at Dash. So Dash has, uh, very similar to Litecoin, has rallied a bit, but has not tested the 20 exponential, has not tested the 50. There's a lot of uh, room to the upside, even though technical indicators are turning around, and we did rally to 8%, give or take, at, at one point. We're trading at the 200 at this uh, current stage. If we get rejected here, we could drop below the 200 moving average and head back towards 119. But uh, at this current stage, we are stabilizing at the 200 moving average. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, the mania for for Dogecoin and for 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 GameStop and uh, uh, yeah, AMC and so on was back today as Dogecoin rallied. I think it was eighteen percent at its most. Broke the fifty moving average, settled above the fifty moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around this current stage, but if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, uh, we can see that that. We ran into the resistance at the 38.2 and we did not get to the 50. So we need to break above these previous highs here and all of these Fibonacci retracements before we can go back to the all time highs. And at this current date, how the market was behaving today, it just felt like one of those typical pump and dump um, uh, schemes that we have been seeing a lot of for uh, the last few months where where people are targeting certain in certain stocks, certain cryptocurrency. And um, you can see, for example, AMC, the RSI is up at the daily chart for around 95. And it's only a matter of time before that absolutely crashes and loses half of the gains that have been basically gained today. And it looks like some of that has been also been focusing on, on Dogecoin because there's no really reason why Dogecoin should be doing much better than Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin and all the other major cryptocurrencies. So let's hope, uh, let's, uh, if you like this video, you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much.